Today, I have the pleasure of introducing you to Masood Hussain, who is a professor in neurology and in cognitive neuroscience here at University of Oxford. Masood's research focuses on the neural mechanisms of attention, working memory, and motivation in both healthy and patient populations. Today, we're gonna to learn a little bit more about the trajectory that brought him here. So to start things off, Masood, would you mind telling us a little bit about where you grew up? Yeah, I grew up in what was then East Pakistan and is now Bangladesh. I grew up there in the early 60s and we moved here as a family in 1968 to London. It's a very difficult time at that, at that time in, in London for an immigrant family moving there. Uh, if people think it's difficult now for immigrants, they should have seen what it was like then. We kept on moving from place to place um, and we were always going to go back to Pakistan, Bangladesh, but a civil war broke out at that time and the situation was very precarious, so we couldn't go back. Uh, we moved to Birmingham where my father got a job and we were always, I remember that very well, we were always being told we're going back. So we'd be you know, learning Bengali from Bengali textbooks uh, to keep up with schooling from back in East Pakistan as well as doing our normal English schooling. But we never did go back because the country was very unsafe, even when it was liberated. So we stayed uh, in the UK and uh, eventually I became an undergraduate here at Oxford. Wow, so interesting. Um, how did that kind of parlay into an interest in psychology? Well, Steph, I have to come clean. I, I'm not really a psychologist. Um, in fact, I'm not a psychologist. I started off as a medical student at Oxford and I'm now a clinical neurologist. But when I was a medical student here, we got exposed to some amazing psychology and cognitive neuroscience. We were inspired by a whole bunch of people who were teaching vision, behavioral neuroscience, work on non-human primates, electrophysiology. I just found the whole thing fascinating. And so I kind of dropped out of finishing my medical career at that point. I did my PhD, my DPhil here. And then I got some funding on a Harkness fellowship to go over to MIT and work in Richard Anderson's lab. And that was a very, very inspiring moment for me. Got to meet all these people from all over the world who were as mad as I was in terms of being interested in neuroscience. And then I came back to finish my clinical career, but I've always really wanted to apply all that knowledge from cognitive neuroscience that's been gleaned over the last 20, 30 years to clinical problems, to problems that patients with neurological disorders face. And, you know, I've ended up in my dream job. I get to do cognitive neuroscience, I get to do clinical neurology, and I get to see how cognitive neuroscience can be applied to clinical problems. And I can also use clinical problems to think about how we could look at some issues in cognitive neuroscience in a different way. So long answer, but I'm not a psychologist, Steph. Wow, what a career. Sorry to call you one. <laughs> um, <laughs> is there a piece of advice maybe you've picked up along the way that you might want to share with anyone listening? All right. Um, well, there are probably two pieces of advice. One is to stick to it. You know, we all have setbacks along the way. I've, I've had that myself where I've thought about giving up on research. I'm really glad I didn't because of the second piece of advice, which is to enjoy yourself. And I've always thought that even if things aren't going well, if you enjoy what you do, that's what you should stick to. And so, um, those two pieces of advice for me have been really important. Persevere despite the setbacks, but most of all, enjoy what you're doing. And then I think most of us can end up in a place where you know, we're, we're enjoying our life, we're enjoying the work we do. So stick to it, enjoy it. Great, thank you so much, Masood. Thank you, Steph.